What up, y'all? Welcome back to another Zendikar Rising Draft Aruski. This format's actually been really fun. I think it's I think it's uh, the combination of there being a good amount of removal, um, a good amount of sets. Four sets is great. Just like Ravnica, there's like there was like five sets for Ravnica, or eight. There might have been eight sets actually. The original three, the second three, and then uh, everything but. Uh, War of the Spark. Uh, Wolfbitten Captive is pretty sweet. Briar Pack Alpha, also very good. Dungeon Geist, also very good. I think we're taking Briar Pack and Dungeon Geists. Dungeon Geist is a just a 3-3 three, three flyer for 3 that just taps a guy down forever. And Briar Pack Alpha is a pretty amazing trick. Either he's a 5-5 five, five or he makes another guy bigger. And we haven't been blue green yet. Oh, we get past the docent of perfection. <laughs> We're not getting past this. That's that's a that's a bit of a misnomer there. Um, we're opening this, and uh, this card is bananas. Five four flyer for five, and uh, you make wizards every time you cast an instant or a sorcery. So that's pretty cool. Uh, Savage Alliance is pretty interesting. Uh, two three flyer that can't attack unless you have delirium. What up, love and crafty? Enjoy your Doctor Who episode, bud. Uh, it might just be it of the horrid swarm. I feel like this is fine. I mean, savage is strong, but I don't think it's stronger than giving up Briar Pack Alpha. misnomer was my favorite teacher in elementary school unmarried as well that's fascinating i'm gonna take it of the horde swarm i think the blue actually let's see how many eldrazi packs we're gonna get oh wow one two eh one two three four five five is good enough yeah i'll take a gamble on an it of the horde swarm traverse the Elvenwald is interesting This is just a 2-4 that explores, but also, like, it's fine to sack to, like, an Eldrazi if you really need to. 3-5 five for 5. If you control another zombie, draw a card. So if you control a zombie, you just get to loot. That's pretty unfortunate. Hmm. I kind of like Traverse here. It's funny because you see packs like this with better, you know, like Twins of Maurer Estates is good. Uh, Emissary of the Sleepless is good. It's a 2-4 flyer for 5 that makes a 1-1 one, one spirit if uh, something died. I think I'm just taking Traverse and probably just Drown Yard Explorers. Like, they basically draw you a card, right? It's, it's very similar to just drawing you a card. Tattered Haunter is fine. Uh, Thirsting Axe, the big and sip of a creature didn't deal combat damage to a creature this turn. Sacrifice it. That's a yikes for me. Alchemist Greeting is great. Boon of Emrakul is also great. Wolfkin Bond, also pretty solid. Mockery of Nature is also fine. I kind of like Tattered Haunt and Wolfkin Bond. Curse of Misfortunes. You poor unfortunate soul. Um. Hmm. This pack is pretty bad for our color combination. <sighs> I do like take inventory, but I'd have to get multiples of them, and that doesn't sound ideal. Especially because we know we only have. Uh, one, two, three, four more Elder Shmeh. That's a good amount, I guess. Unfortunately, these are three mill cards for blue and a pretty mediocre trick for green. This 
pack is just not good. Maybe that's just how it goes sometimes. You just have packs that aren't that great. I'll take Markov Warlord in case we splash it. I'll take Hunger. Oh, wow. Sometimes you kind of wish you were opening real packs. Geist Catcher's Rig is great. Um, I think it's just Geist Catcher's Rig and Snapcaster Mage here. I mean, Snapcaster is just fine. It's a great, it's a great card to uh, to sacrifice for Emerge. If we have instants and sorceries, it's gonna double them up for this. Yeah, Geist Catcher's Rig has also been great in this format. Hmm. Prey Upon seems fine, especially because they're looking for cards that. Uh... Whenever this or another spirit enters the battlefield, tap a creature and opponent controls. I mean, this just seems better than Exultant Cultist, kind of. Definitely taking the Prey Upon, because we do have uh, cards that want to take advantage of that. It's Kessig Prowler or Nebogast or Exultant Cultist. I think it's Nebelgast Herald. Again, like I think having like Wolfkin Bond with a flyer is really good. Uh, Lost in the Woods. I was hoping it was like Keswick Cage Breakers or something. I mean, Tower Geist is just a fine 2-2 flyer that also draws as a card. Lots of 4 drops, though. Altar of the Lost being only able to cast flashback spells is pretty terrible. I'll just take Crushing Vines for the sideboard, I guess. Ooh, Murder of Crows is wonderful. And then we have either Claustrophobia or Silent Departure. Yeah, that's not even close, really. I think it's Claustrophobia. I would love a Silent Departure, especially with Docent. But... <laughs> okay, we're definitely taking Decimator. Not close. And now we can either take Foul Emissary, which works well with with Decimator, or we can take Vexling Scuttler. I think it's Foul Emissary. Wow, that's bananas. I kind of like 3-mana, dude. Seems fine. This is pack 11. We still have a bunch of picks left. Let's take the 3-mana guy. And probably just a two mana creature. I wonder how many Shriek Geists we can get here. I do like Lash Weed Lurker a lot. And that guy's great. This is a 3 3 1, turns into a 3 5. Yeah, we're just taking Lash Weed Lurker because it's great. And probably Shrilla Howler. I think it's probably better than Exultant Cultist. And I don't really care about Ingenious Scob. Oh, we got a Falconrath Aristocrat. This pack's pretty rough. It's literally just red, white, and black cards. And then you have these three here. <laughs> I'll take Bone Dash. Never go Bone Dash. And I'll just take another Somber Wall. It doesn't matter. Pack is not that great, unfortunately. I like Think Twice and Ranger's Guile here, actually. Ranger's Guile is another card that is a great flashback card for Snapcaster and a great card to protect our threats. Think Twice also works really well with uh, Docent. Hmm. Let's take Civilized Scholar. I mean, it's just a looter, which is very, very nice. Um, Don't care about you. <laughs> target player mills one card when it dies okay cool I'll take spider grasp spider grasp is actually very good for us in a previous match huh invisible stalker doesn't do much in this in this deck thank you oh hoss mania what up my dude welcome back thank you for the resub buddy I think it's this, this guy, because we don't have another effect like that. I think I'll just take Civilized Scholar number two, I guess. I don't know. 
Plus three, plus three. Whenever it attacks, it doesn't untap. Whenever it becomes unattached for a permanent, sacrifice that permanent. Nah, I'm good. Uh, let's take clear shot. Plus one, plus one, and it bites. And we can also take vexing scuttler, and I think that's better than it of the horrid swarm. They both cost seven. Altered ego and moonlight hunt. Wow. Interesting, interesting. I think we have enough for Moonlight Hunt, right? It's wolf or werewolf, so we have this guy, the wolf this guy makes, Shrill Howler. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> We're definitely taking Alter Ego, right? Enters the battlefield to cover any creature on the battlefield. Yeah, that card's great. Uh, Enchanted Creature doesn't untap? Yeah, that seems good. That's just removal, so... Okay, this is 26 cards. So here are three cuts. Drowning Art Explorers is kind of meh, but it's nice when we have three Eldrazi. I think Traverse is kind of meh. I think Hunger is also kind of meh. Those are pretty easy cuts. Um... It's still 18 creatures, which is pretty good. Or we can play 16 lands in Traverse because it's always going to get us at least a land, which is kind of nice. So the thing about it of the Horde Swarm is that you're playing a creature and you're sacking a different creature and then it's making two one ones. But like if you didn't sacrifice if you sacrifice a two two, you have the same amount of power on board. Like this puts six power on board. <laughs> and if you don't sacrifice the two two, like you just already have two and like it's only it's basically only, it's a four four for eight mana. Uh Geist Catcher's rig has been great in every matchup. You're crazy. There's so many flyers in this format. I have a decent amount of removal for uh, for a blue green deck. I'm just gonna play twenty. I'm just gonna play. I'm just playing forty one. I don't think there's anything else in the deck I want to cut, and uh, I'm okay with it. The heron and the otter are my friends. In a circle, in a loop that never ends. Man, Super Fritz talking about boarding in a Geist Catcher's rig. How you gonna act? This hand would be great if we could hit, like, literally lands. Like, this would be, like, two, three, four, five. Emerge. Get back Rangers, Guile. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, boy. Well, oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. We're playing against Kerwit. That's hilarious. Kerwit, when did you draft this format, dude? Just draw. <laughs> God. Oh, this is hilarious. Mulligan. Uh, Mulligan. Uh, I'm going to keep it because, jeez. Yikes. I mean, we can still win. Hmm. 
Mm-hmm. To be fair, I've never seen Kuro play Magic before. It's never happened. Well, dang it. Shut up and take my money. Oh, what happened? Chorwit, one big fan dollar. <laughs> oh, God. Well, I mean, Kerwit's a big fan. I did Mulligan to five and keep one lander, so... You know. Where's the lie? The heron and the otter are my friends. Land. Thanks, big skit. Give me that wolf. Wolf. Give me that wolf. I said howl in the chat. Is a wolf. So I said howl. That's funny. Oh, it says howl on it. Werewolf's howl is terrifying to be sure. But this, this was a chilling sound I somehow felt. I fear what will reply to it. Oh, okay. And a circle in a loop that never ends. Look at that fog walker. Do I just block this guy? Let's see what Kerwitz says. Maybe? <laughs> you know what? Can't fool me. Oh, what up, Mark? Thank you for the reset, buddy. I appreciate you, my dude. Oh my god, Faith on Grub Broken into the graveyard? What did you take? He's gonna be like, Drog Skull Reaver. I'm gonna be like, bug. I think we're back in this game. <laughs> You'll see. That's what I'm afraid of. Oh, you're just taking it, huh? Okay. Creatures with power less than it can't block. Oh, he, he doesn't. He doesn't have a choice. I don't even know what this card does. Apparently, I know what it does when it flips. <laughs> okay, let's just pass. I'm back in the saddle again. Well, I have five cards and four lands. He has three cards and six lands. But also another equipment and another creature, so. 
I'm back in the saddle again. Oh, that's rude. Why would you do this? I cannot believe you've done this. We're howling, bro. I want to howl it with you. We're howling. Block him. I keep typing ones in the chat. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. Oh, it's a Stitch Drake. Well, Mark, you literally just showed up for game one, so. We're gonna attack. If they wanna block, we can clear shot and two for one them. But now, for now, we're gonna murder of crow. I can't believe we're still in this game from mulliganing to five and keeping a one lander. Just gonna get in there with that stitch rake. Oh, I see. Boy, that equipment is something, my dude. Enters the battlefield as a copy of any creature. We can actually copy this guy. That's actually pretty good. Makes a 6-6. Six, six. It's got to be good, right? <laughs> Gotta wear your mask. <laughs> oh, man. How 2020, man. How 2020. Oh man, I got that 6-6 six, six murderer crows. Any Eldrazi is good because we get back one of these howlers. Or we don't get back, but we actually have a great card to uh, to emerge with. Oh, Mentor of the Meek. That guy seems fashionably late to the party. I'm going to lull because I did lull. My mask doesn't have hexproof, it just has the Batman logo. Well, to be fair, this mask doesn't have hexproof, it just gives hexproof. So, you know. Hey, 
Hey, that's pretty good. So seven minus three is four. One, two, three, four. Hmm. I'm going to put your little biscuit on the top. Biscuit on the top. I'm going to use this right now because I want to hit a land so I can clear shot. Don't touch my mask, I swear I will cough all over you. <laughs> Uh, yes. Uh, discard Claustrophobia. Uh, uh, we're gonna loot one more time. Yeah, great. Sounds good. Wubba da bop bop bow. Oh yeah, this is, this is strong. This is gonna be a strong turn. They got one card. Even when I'm playing against Kurwit, who I know, I still, I still say they. <laughs> Uh, choose target creature you control. I could kill Mentor, but I don't foresee that um, making a huge difference, especially when we know what he's drawing. And I can't block Skulk, whereas I can block with Lash Weed Lurker. I can block the Mentor, so... Man, we mulliganed five this game. <laughs> Come on, Wrath of God. When I'm playing against my friends, I like using caps and screaming at them. On the wings of love. What? Was that the last card in your hand? That wasn't the mask? That's fascinating. <sighs> He's going to give your flyers cro coronavirus. <laughs> okay. That's fucking funny. God damn. Man, sometimes I'm like, God, Super Fritz. Sometimes Super Fritz says some stuff where I'm just like, see, that's funny. We should write for television. Oh, got him. Ooh, a docent of perfection was, was popping off. Okay, so. See, again, like, Geist Catchers were doing great in this matchup. Unfortunately, Crushing Vines isn't that great because it's one of the shitty ones. It's the uh, destroy a creature or an artifact. Doesn't destroy an enchantment, so it wouldn't hit... Uh, uh, claustrophobia, but it would hit Mask of Avacyn if we care about that. Actually, that might be fine. And we also saw like four flyers, right? So. I'm going to take out Somberwald Herald. Like, it's just one of the. It's a two drop, but it's like, it's not great. Oh, I'll definitely keep this. Gives me something to do on turn two, on turn three, and on turn four. 
And any Eldrazi is a great draw because of the Drown Yard. Well, except for the one that returns an instant or sorcery. Or Decimator of Provinces. Prov provinces. But, but any other one is great, so... I, I also love Think Twice. I think Think Twice is a great card. This wasn't going to go well. <laughs> Why not? Wait, did he mulligan? Oh, he went to six? Buddy, I went to five last game. I don't even want to... Oh, okay, now we're just in. Now we're just living the, living the dream here. Just another day for you and me, you and me in paradise. Said, sir, can you help me? Wow, this is a lot of lands. It's just another day for me. <laughs> Buddy, you watch my stream. <laughs> He's like, don't you just love it when you mulligan and basically gives you the same hand? And I'm like... You know I don't. <laughs> so can you help me? God, that's a good fucking song. Phil Collins is a got some bangers, man. Well, actually, this was Genesis. Whatever, you friggin' nerds. Think twice. Just another day for you, me, paradise. That's rude. It's really rude. And I'm gonna play my little haunty boy. He's been making bangers for 30 years and just when you think he's through, bam, Tarzan soundtrack. Get him again. Can you imagine if we drew Decimator of the Provinces the next turn? We can sack our Drown Yard Explorers attack for like a thousand. I actually don't even know how much that guy costs. But I have to assume six and four would be enough, so. Or would that be seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen? I don't know if he pumps himself, but it's sixteen if he doesn't pump himself, so. That's pretty good. It's nine with a merge? So we got it covered. We can even crack our clue. No, we can't. I lied. I mean, it is lethal. God dang it. Leave that wolf alone. Hey, Carwood, leave that wolf alone. I mean, I guess we could sack this guy and pay all six, and that's six, seven, eight, nine, and that's seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. That'd be amazing. We could do exactties. Come on, one time decimator of the provinces. <sighs> Stupid tower geist. We're gonna hit decimator off this, and then we're just gonna like. We're gonna we're gonna just. We're just going to roll. We're going to steamroll through. Dude, now you have another day in paradise stuck in my head. Mm 
Murder of Crows? Da 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 deal. Kirby, you're really. You're really not putting up a fight here, my friend. I don't understand. What's the temperature right now? It's 28 degrees outside, guys. Oh, God. Tomorrow it's going to snow and it's going to be like cold. Uh, what was I doing? I was going to do a thing. Dude, did you just have all lands in hand? Oh, we didn't even crack our clue. Didn't even care. I've been wearing my winter coat since August. What's what's the temperature there? One, two, three. Do do what do you want? Stop notifying me. 41 and loving it. 41 is usually my sweet spot. Like, I can deal with... Between, like, 40 and 60 is perfect for me. It's not super cold. And, like, I can still go out and get the mail in gym shorts. Once it gets to, like, 20... Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Um... Well, I'm gonna crack this. Because if we can get, like, a clear shot... It doesn't do anything either. Not all lands. Oh boy. Well, we're just gonna play Murder of Cruz. 17. Been a very warm fall. Kevin, that's pretty ridiculous, buddy. It's only 17 degrees. It's been very it's been very uh it's been it's been tepid. 20 is perfect for us to deal with Celsius. Oh, boy. Get a load of jokes, McGee, over here. What's 20 Celsius? Like, 65? 68. I was very close. I think that's pretty good without knowing the exact math. He's still at 7, and we have a good board. I would have loved to have a ranger's guy up. Oh boy, it's like one of my hand it returns to its hand. Okay. And he gets a draw card. Drag down. Drag under is very good. Bounce and draw. Oh my god. Jeez. Kerr didn't attack? <laughs> Those are some good-looking creatures you got there. Can you not steal? Can you can you stop? I got a I got a ranger's guy. I can protect. Um. Oh boy, he's at seven. How do I? How do I? How do we get out of this one? So we can play one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four. So we can make we can make a seven seven Avison. Negative seventy with a wind chill. How the fuck is negative ninety four degrees even livable? That doesn't even seem inhabitable to me. I'm just gonna make a big ass Archangel Avison. Don't take my dudes. And that's why global warming is a hoax. <laughs> That's Jack Nicholson bird in the snow level cold. 
Oh, God. Oh, no, Gamma Set definitely doesn't think that it's a hoax. Gamma Set is not one of those people. He's just, he's just joking. It's amazing how nature will be like, you probably shouldn't live here. They're like, I don't know, man, 98 degrees. Negative 98 degrees is probably where it's like, well, that's where I really draw the line. And then, uh, people do it anyway. They just don't care. All right, it's got to be done. Hex it up. How are our units looking? 35? That's not terrible. But you guys can do better. We still have 16 minutes, so... Wait, what? I don't like this. The problem is whatever he has, he can also have... Four sets. I have no idea what he could have here, actually. The problem is, like, if I attack, it's just as likely the same trick works, right? Like, if it's plus three, plus three, or if it's, like, destroying, attacking, or blocking creature. Oh, okay. <laughs> Oh boy, good games. I say good goods games. Oh man, Kerwit's something else, dude. Good old Chorwit. Your favorite and mine. Wow. Two Eldrazi and a Dungeon Geist. God. I mean, we can cast the Dungeon Geist. I'm keeping it. Okay. It's actually pretty good with the, like, Lash Weed Lurker. Oh, no. Well, that's no good. Yeah. Thank you. Well, they didn't play anything else. So I guess we'll just take two. Oh, Kerr with the resub. I appreciate you, buddy. <laughs> oh, man. All right, I'll just take three again. Now we can just dungeon geist this guy or... Yeah, let's just geist it. Okay, so we're at least dodging a turn because they can't untap it. Oh boy. It attacks with one creature if anyone blocks it. Sure. I guess we're blocking. Okay. Oh boy. <laughs> and we're just gonna trade here if they give us the option. No, no one give me the option. Okay, sure. Well, that guy flips, which is nice. 
Um, this is seven mana, so it's not terrible. We take five here. I guess we go to six. That's pretty bad. Okay. Well, that's pretty good. I don't know. I don't know why you even played this. Like you literally could just save it, and now we have like Lashwee Lurker to like put this guy on top. Hmm. One, two. Well, that was pretty decent. Well, we're at four and we know one of the cards in their hand. It will pump the Thalia. Hmm. Five, six, seven, eight. We can just play this guy next turn. Five, six, seven. Oh, we have tri it's triple green anyway, so it's not a huge deal. Yeah, we'll just take it off the board. Okay, that's pretty good. Creature cards discarded this way. Untapped your boy. Um. Yeah, Briar Pack Alpha seems pretty good here. Two cards. Oh wow, that's really good. One, two, three, four. Briar Pack Alpha. Pump itself. Sure. That was a good turn. <laughs> yep. Don't necessarily care about that guy. Um, five, six, seven, eight. one card and we can just hard cast this guy can we win next turn if we just actually six seven eight if we like sack this guy what is this four five six yeah, this creatures you control okay oh it's a cast trigger so it's not gonna hit this guy seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fifteen seven eighteen eighteen damage So let's put them down to where Decimator could be lethal if we hit a green source. Hmm. Pay costs. That's pretty good. It does give Trample though. That's relevant. Hmm. 
So we can actually block and discard Decimator. And then we have Clear Shot to, to take this guy out. That seems worse than just having Decimator in hand, though. It also seems better to have the civilian on the battlefield, so. Uh, and being your accent, I'm sure, so they get a 2 2 back. Oh, that's pretty good. <laughs> If it put if it put the Wolfkin bomb on this guy, that he doesn't. Six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I'm just gonna put it on here. It's a hell of a recovery. And we get to block the unhallowed Cathar with the wolf. Yep, seems good. Hmm. Okay. Forest. Six, seven, eight, nine. Sack this guy. We do want to hit another creature for this guy, though. Come on, creature off the top. Come on. What's the hold up here? Dang it. <laughs> Six, seven, eight, nine. I mean, he's still just a seven, seven trample haste, right? Like, that's still pretty good. just die to a haste creature okay that guy doesn't have haste but he does get a get a cleaver on him okay so if we draw a creature and like we can clear shot if they if they oh wow seems good That's pretty good. Mm, that's not. Hmm. Oh, we have a we have a draw. Oh, that's not a good draw. <laughs> uh, then you can kill four or more creatures. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well. We gotta keep them on, on low. Like they're welcome to gain five here. That's fine. Cause we get two more draws here. That's a that's a good one. That is also a good one. Should we just discard Nebelgas Herald and kill them? And then we have Ranger's Guile in case they have any tricks. Wow, this is a hell of a game. Wow, that was pretty good. I'm a fan.
Okay, um, Rig can come out in this match for sure. Bring in Scob. Bring in other two drop as well. We just want to have things to play against them in the early game. I think Decimator can actually come out. He's a little clunky. I think everything else is probably fine. We can bring Sleep Paralysis, but their individual creatures weren't great. They just kind of went wide. So... Actually, Spider might be better than, like, Wolfkin Bond, but Wolfkin Bond still makes up a... makes a 2-2. Two -two. Oh, what up, Lank... Crit... Riss... <sighs> Dang it. He got me. Frisk Herderer. Got him. Okay, now we're hoping for a 2-drop because we think they're going to play that 2-drop wolf every game. Yeah. It's not the 2-drop wolf I was expecting, but it is still a 2-drop wolf that turns into a 3-2. But our hand's pretty good. We just need another blue source at some point. Yikes. This is friggin' brutal, man. Well, I don't want your guy to flip, so I guess I'll just play my own. Yep, that guy has to be blocked, right? Must be blocked if Able. Another blue source next turn would be great, because we can play Dungeon Geist, fight this guy, and still have two creatures down. Uh, let's Actually, Clear Shot's also pretty good. Clear Shot can make this guy 3-3, three, three, Clear Shot this guy, and then Prey Upon this guy. Not bad. Yeah, that's fine. Yep, you got it. Also, we have Foul Emissary and the Vexing Scuttler if we can survive, so. Wow. Very good. Although they can't use Handwire Battlement, which is pretty nice. Fourth land would have been good here. Oh, interesting. Snapcaster seems decent. Um, battle's ready, guys. Battle's ready. Um, yeah, let's take Snappy Boy. I think lands would be nice. I ask for a lot, though. Good lord. I guess we're taking five here, because I don't feel like sacking this guy is the correct play. Um, I think with our mana restriction, I want to get Prey Upon back. I would like land upon. If they can play a creature and give it haste, then we're still dead, but. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, Slayer's Plate is actually an insane equipment. Land is pretty good, though. So they can equip this, and whatever they equip, we can actually go clear shot in response. 
they have no cards in hand so literally it's like game one where we just have to kind of stabilize here how much does it cost to equip three that's it now they only have one human so that's good we can play docent but it like we have to block this flyer we have to deal with the flyer is really what it comes down to I mean, one thing we do is prey upon and then snapcaster prey upon. I think snapcaster clear shot though is also fine. Yeah, they have one card. That'll give us two blockers. I mean, it's it's whatever. <laughs> Equipping that guy. So we're going to snap Oh, but then they put it on this guy in response. Ugh. And then they just kill us, right? Yeah, that's no good. So I guess we're going to have to give them another 1-1. One, one. So clear shot... You get plus one, and you're going to fight this. You fight here, you kill here. No, we're going to block here. That's what we're doing. Why, why fucking waste our time? God, that's so frustrating. Oh, God, dude. Expression Grind Skill Artifacts? Mm, might be worth it just for the stupid equipment. That's so infuriating. I'm just gonna play Spider instead. I mean, obviously it makes sense. Like, we have cards, but, like, it's still frustrating that I'm, like, sitting here going... It's, I, I don't know, there's no way to avoid being frustrated when you're sitting there strategically going out your plays and it doesn't matter. Like... It's just whatever. It would be great if we can actually draw a hand that has a, a fucking card that costs less than four in it. That would actually be super cool. <sighs> Get rid of a forest. Because we can't cast these anyway. Or I guess we can cast Palamus, but we can't cast the other one with just a... So we have to kind of have to hope to draw. Okay, draw a two drop. Watch, we're gonna get punished next turn. Not hit a land. Punished. Deserved it. Yep. All right. Should have just kept the three forests, even though it only has one other card. Yep. It's actually a nice dude to altered ego. Cool. This is how it goes. Just to be clear, like the other forest wouldn't have really done anything. Uh, yep. Yeah. Always a pleasure, Magic Online. Always a pleasure. Oh, goody. Let me guess, four lands? Three lands and a Briar Pack Alpha. Sounds good. Yeah. Nice big hug sounds all right. Yeah. Oh, there's not going to be an island because we just put three on the bottom. So, just to be clear. Yep. They still have five cards in hand. Okie dokie. Yeah, but what counter... Obviously he waited... Obviously he was playing around Counterspell, but like what Counterspell is there that's going to do that? Like... Let me 
defense is pretty horrendous. This is where they deal us four and then they just brimstone volley us. Ready? Wow, fucking amazing. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I can predict more games than the lands I draw. Okay. Unforgiven. Thanks for the bits, buddy. Like, it's just brutal, man. Like... I don't know. Whatever. It's magic. You think after playing for 20 friggin' years that I'd be used to it, but it's just, it's really hard to get used to. It's just because it's out of your control, you know? Like... And, like, if I keep the, if I keep the forest... The forest isn't the card I need. I need islands. Every other card is blue or double blue. So, right, like, I'm keeping the forest, and it's like... Okay, I can play Foul Emissary, which is a 1-1. One, one. Does not block their 2-2. Two, two. It doesn't block their 3-2. Hey, I'll keep this hand. <laughs> I mean, this is three islands, but it's also a completely playable hand with any forests or any other lands. Plus, Civilized Scholar is also a... Uh, a, a nice way to mitigate any kind of no two drops though I've seen this movie too many times and I'm always hoping for a different ending. Yeah. That's amazing, dude. You too. Oh, that guy's good. We'll just play Scolare. Maybe I want that guy to flip. I don't even know, man. What up, Saltwater Ping Pong? <laughs> That's a great name. That's hilarious. Hey, you guys want to play some Saltwater Ping Pong? Kerwood, it's not even like... It was like 12.20 there? Guys, Grandpa Kerwood has to go to sleep. It is only 1.20 here in mountain daylight time. Grandpa Kerwit does what he feels like. You know what? I approve. Way to go, Grandpa Kerwit. You to, tr you to real MVP. Interesting. They draw a little creature. You drew a splinter fright. Well, that guy's a nobody. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't really want to mill anything right now. Actually, we can we can mill thing twice pretty easily. It's like casting the thing twice. <laughs> Yep, that guy flips. Oh, that's an exciting one. Just playing Murder of Crows here. All right, seven power and flying. One rare, one uncommon. That's pretty rude. Pfft. 
Where were you, Rangers Guile? When I needed you most. Caravan Vigil. Okay. So your, so your recruiter is going to flip back. Sounds good. Uh, with a 1-1 one -one counter for each zombie in your graveyard, so none. Whenever you cast a zombie, it gets a counter. Okay. Yeah, at worst, that guy's a 2-2 two -two for 3 with an upside. I'm not going to loot. I like, the, I like the cards in my hand, and I don't subscribe to the philosophy of just looting for the sake of looting. Flip. Island. This guy. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, three, six. Okay. Yeah, this guy flipping, I don't really care about. I'd almost rather him flip because I don't want you to just amass a bunch of cards. So I dub thee unforgiven. <sighs> what I feel, what I know. Real the top four, put a creature from among them in your hand and the rest in your graveyard. Sure. Diagraph Captain is the only option. So that's what you're getting. Still no creatures in your graveyard though, so that's Splinter Fright's not doing great here. Four mana. Oof. Well, we're definitely uh clear shotting that guy, but he doesn't do anything right now. Just that guy, huh? So we can attack for four, five, six. Huh. Yeah, I'll just take three. <laughs> I don't care about. I, I don't care about all that. We're doing this now because we want the mana. We also want to try to hit something good. Prey upon. Is that better than Ranger's Guile? Probably because it triggers another... Yeah, that seems fine. Yeah, you can flip back. Easy loot. Oh! Less easy loot. Does that win? 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yep, that probably just wins us the game, right? Doesn't matter. Just do all the things. Okay, discard that. Sure. I mean, they're taking 10 in the air, so this guy has to deal 3, and he does. So. Oh, decimator of the provinces. Gotta keep them decimated. Hey, don't pay no mind. If you're a 7-7, seven, seven, you tremble all the time. Hey. Horse walk seems good. Huh. Um, is this any graveyard? Your graveyard. Come out and play. It took me a long time to figure out. Yeah, I don't actually, I never knew what that song was about. And I was just like, this is a very, like, It's an aggressive song that's like, like encouraging people to like commit crimes. Hey man, don't worry about it. You're under 18, you're not gonna do any time. It's like, oh, I don't know, man.
like the latest fashion. I have running disease. Yeah, this hand's great. <laughs> I wonder if our somber wall dryad is just gonna do it, do the deed. I don't think they're promoting it as they introduce it as being like, oh, like a spreading. Oh yeah, no, no. I guess no, they're not promoting it. I guess that's true. Just when you hear it though, like, it's very interesting because it's like, hey man, you'll be fine. You're not going to jail. Don't be silly. Oh man, we're forest walking all all over the place. All up in this piece. And then we're going to tap this guy with the Herald. Then we're going to tap it with the Geist. Man, we are going to get tappy with this. This hand is very good. Check out the Queen's Gambit. Oh, that's the new show on... That's the new Netflix, isn't it? About the uh, the female chess player. That guy's a defender, but not reach. And it's a, When scarecrows don't have reach, I'm like... Fuck out of here. <laughs> okay. Tap you forever. Two basic lands, put them in your hand. Sure, you got it. I wonder if Moses Scarecrow girlfriend has a reach. <laughs> oh man. Unforgiven, it's not based on like a true story or anything, right? Because that would be much cooler. <laughs> you know, he hasn't been the same since the storm. I turned out fine, but Moe's, same story, different ending. Oh, well, that's pretty good. God, we just keep drawing good cards. Uh, yep, I'll take a Murderer Crows. Sure will. Yeah, I think this is over. Either way, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons on YouTube. Definitely be sure to hit that bell. You'll get notifications whenever a new video goes up. And, uh... If you guys want to support the channel, you can check out manatraders.com. They have a great subscription service for Magic Online. You'll get 15% off any subscription with a link and promo code down below for the first three months. And uh, they got rid of mana hours recently. Mana hours were what you'd have to use to rent cards. And they would tick down the longer you had them. But uh, they don't use them anymore. So a service that was already great is actually even better, which is pretty sweet. And... Uh, you can also check out nordvpn.org slash franklapore. It's a great way to support the channel. They are a sponsor currently, and you get 68% off a two-year subscription plus one month free, which is a pretty good deal. So three, four, five, six, seven. We can deal seven here. Murder of Crows. Do, 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 do. So NordVPN.org slash Frank Lepore and Mana Traders. Both links are in the description below, so you can check those out there. I'm just gonna just gonna kill it. It doesn't what's the, what's the point? Now we'll definitely loot here so we can discard a land. Eh, I like that guy better than Civilized Scholar at this juncture, so. <laughs> the last movie about chess based on a true story I saw was searching for Robbie Fisher yeah that's the last movie everyone saw about chess that was based on a true story thank you guys for watching I'll see you next time <laughs>